Sorting the cells and filtering the cells, uh, you uh, you are comfortable. You know how it is done, right? Yes, sir. Now uh, this section, you know, talks about uh, uh, subtotaling. Uh, so basically, you know, uh, subtotaling means you are grouping some uh, set of uh, rows and getting a either a count of it or a sum of it, you know, or something like that. So uh, how do we do it? So let's say the is there a subtotal So instead of focusing on subtotal, what we will do? So ideally, basically, whatever the rows are, it will try to total it up. If you notice, uh, if the um, let's see, if let me try, maybe it will work. So, so let's say you am creating a sheet, and um, And these are the rows. Let's copy everything. So let's uh, delete this in between rows. some more values and uh, give some numbers select and uh, so you can use a subtotal function four means find the max okay I think there was something here data subtotals so calculate uh, so here when we, when I click the subtotals all the fields are coming up it has picked up all the um, all the rows which I selected over here and it is asking group by so so group by uh, do you understand in select uh, group by means what Yes, sir. Means categorize. 
yeah so basically if you do something like uh, uh, select uh, let's say this is the table select star from my table I can say group by brand this way so if I so here I can say count of uh, the brand name the whatever the group name is so if you are using group by then that column name also has to be here and whatever function you want to apply on that a grouping function like a count star a sum star or you want a count of everything you want a sum of everything so this uh, ideally will create rows like this fiat taxi this will be output fiat taxi and it says count no so count how many rows are there one two three four five six seven or uh, eight nine you know whatever so nine will come here and then it will group by next brand the next brand is honda cv so one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight cars over here and then toyota camry let's say and toyota camry one two uh, four five so there are five rows so this will be the output over here so the column name will come as brand name and uh, this will come as count uh, star you know either um, you can or you can give a separate name for it something like this count star as uh, count or you know c so this will come as column c so that is what grouping by does group whenever you are doing grouping you are uh, uh, grouping as per a particular field so if you say group by brand and then group by speed then this will be two level grouping which means you uh, uh, you have to since you have mentioned two fields in the grouping you also have to mention max speed and then you can say um, sum of uh, in this case I think we will have to specify the field I am not very sure but something like this so basically now uh, if there is like fiat taxi speed is 60 ok and there is this is also 60 this is 50 50 and 60 now it will group with a combination of brand plus max speed achieved so you will get something like this the answer now fiat taxi is one brand but there are two types of speeds right 60 and 50 over here so there will be one row created for this and second row will be created for 50 a combination of brand plus max speed so if there is any unique values again fiat taxi 55 is there so again one more row will be created 55 so if you see the count of 60 it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is one more row 5 so this will show up 5 fiat taxi 50 how many rows are there 1, 2, 3 and then nothing is there so 3 will come 55 how many rows are there um, with fiat taxi oh, nothing is there did I change oh here it is 55 so <coughs> So 55 there is only one car with that speed so it will the answer will be one and so forth it will show for every combination of brand plus max speed now this is a two level grouping and you have done the uh, um, this is what not sum this is count right so this is a count of uh, some would add the speed but count would count the number of rows that is having the speed so is it clear grouping what happens when you group co columns hello hello haan sir ab clear ho gaya aapko grouping haan sir grouping kya hota hai yeah तो क्योंकि अभी आप जो भी करोगे ना मतलब डेटा के साथ आप 
पिवट टेबल क्रिएट करते हो चार्ट्स क्रिएट करते हो उसमें काफी ग्रुपिंग ऑटोमेटिकली हो जाएगा तो आपको ग्रुपिंग का ये कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में आना चाहिए कि ग्रुपिंग कैसे होता है ये सब टोटलिंग हम ज्यादातर ऐसे यूज तो नहीं करते तो बट वो क्योंकि वो पोर्शन इधर मैंने देखा पोर्शन में तो मैंने थोड़ा देख लिया क्या है करके तो इसमें बेसिकली वही हो रहा है ग्रुपिंग हो रहा है बेसिकली सब टोटल्स करता है वो तो वो बोलता है कि कौन सा आपका फर्स्ट ग्रुप कौन सा है तो अब मैं बोलता हूँ द फर्स्ट ग्रुप बाई ब्रांड है तो मैंने ब्रांड किया है एंड सेकेंड ग्रुप इज नन तो मैं सिर्फ आई डू ओनली ग्रुप बाई ब्रांड अभी ब्रांड में आपको यू वॉन्ट फॉर ईच ब्रांड लेट से कैलकुलेट द सब टोटल्स फॉर सब टोटल्स नो आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द काउंट अच्छा ये ब्रांड का काउंट काउंट करेगा टोटल एज टू मैन्युफैक्चर का सम कैलकुलेट करेगा मैक्स स्पीड का सम कैलकुलेट करेगा क्वालिटी चेक का सम तो नहीं हो सकता ग्रुप काउंट होगा का सम भी हो सकता है बट I think it will count with same thing as count and sold also it will uh, whether it's sold whether it is sold or not it will be a count let's see what does this do so what it has done it has summed up automatically it has created some formulas right so unhone aapka pura row automatically arrange karke sab totals count kiya ye 9 ka matlab hai count है ना तो इधर थ्री डाला है मतलब काउंट फंक्शन यूज हुआ है और इधर नाइन यूज किया है मतलब सम फंक्शन यूज किया है इधर नाइन यूज किया है मतलब सम फंक्शन यूज किया है इधर थ्री यूज किया है थ्री यूज किया है मतलब काउंट फंक्शन यूज किया है तो सबका उसने अपने ग्रुपिंग बाय ब्रांड बोला था इसीलिए उसने सिर्फ इसको ग्रुप किया है अब अगर दो लेवल का ग्रुपिंग तो इतना पार्ट समझो आपको ये क्या हो गया अभी डेटा को उसने कैसे अरेंज किया हेलो हेलो हाँ ये पार्ट समझा क्या हो गया वो सब टोटल ओके okay. तो इधर ईच ब्रांड का उसने टोटलिंग और सम किया है और एंड में सबका मिला के किया है तो यू गेट पिक्चर इन वन गो अभी लेट्स से आई एंड डू दिस एंड आई ब्रिंग बैक द डेटा टू बैक टू नॉर्मल एंड आई डू द री टोटलिंग सो दिस टाइम आई वांट टू यूज टू ग्रुप्स ओके सो लेट मी वेर इज अब टोटल सब टोटल्स सो आई से ग्रुप बाय ब्रांड एंड सेकेंड ग्रुप आई विल से वेदर इट इज सोल्ड और नॉट मीन्स येस और नो राइट इफ इट इज सोल्ड इट इज येस सो यू शुड ग्रुप बेसिकली यूजिंग दिस टू देन आई वॉन्ट द सेम थिंग फॉर ब्रांड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट अ काउंट और टोटल एज आई वॉन्ट टू गेट अ सम फॉर मैक्स स्पीड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द सम फॉर क्वालिटी चेक आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द काउंट एंड फॉर सोल्ड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट अ काउंट एंड हियर अच्छा दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेवल ग्रुपिंग सो लेट से आई जस्ट गेट द काउंट फॉर दिस इन द फर्स्ट इन द सेकेंड ग्रुप सोल्ड आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द काउंट and then within sold i probably want the quality check uh, count to be done max speed ka sum sum of all the speeds yes yeah, sum of all the speed then we go max speed change is what is the maximum speed of the car you know that is noted down and uh, total as to manufacture i want the sum and uh, brand is maybe not required so let me just go with this and see what happens तो इफ यू नोटिस नाउ यर इट इज ग्रुप बाय ब्रांड एंड इट इज ग्रुप बाय सोल्ड स्टेटस फॉर नो 
uh, means there are six cars which is not sold and uh, uh, speed wise the uh, maximum speed is 101 of this over here but at the end also you will get the max speed is 130 of all the brands you get the maximum total also over here so is this clear whatever is so now here you notice the count for the first group I said I want the count of the brand so it is counted Honda CV two groups of Honda CV one for no group one for yes group so is this clear what is happening when you are doing subtotaling yes sir so, so that is what it is subtotaling <coughs> so pivot table is basically like a table which looks more organized which does something similar like subtotaling so let's take up this rows and data pivot table insert so I want a new table to be created based on my current selection whatever rows I have currently selected you can define a range also so we had done this last time where you can define set of uh, rows and columns as a range and then put a name over here but I am saying just uh, use current selection and say ok so now it is asking me um, So here if you notice there is a row fields which is a group by fields means I am trying to tell you group by what fields and then on the right hand side the data fields it is trying to tell me do some analysis like give me a sum of that, give me a max value of that, give me a count of that something in that. So it is the same thing that we have done uh, just with a subtotaling. So where it is now. is it gone okay. insert current selection ok so let me group by brand ok and then uh, I want a count of the brand so count of the brand means I have to change uh, this um, double click and just change it to count and now let's see what happens the data that has to be selected is given over your data this is the data range that we just selected and say okay so what it has done it has given me the brand and the total count over here so is this clear what happened just now a pivot table also looks similar yes sir yes so let me so it has created another this pivot table in another sheet so let me delete this sheet and uh, where it is hmm. let me try uh, grouping everything now this time and let's see what happens so data pivot table insert current selection data is there I'll group by brand then uh, I'll group by sold whether it is sold or not then I want a uh, 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 count of brand then I want uh, sum of total hours so this is already defined I want a max speed of all the speeds so I want a max of all the speeds then I want quality check also over here but I want count so I'll double click and change it to count and I want sold car count also now I'll try sell go ahead and click ok to click the this um, 
so this on the left hand side what you are seeing is the row fields the fields that we asked the pivot table configuration to group by so it is grouped for uh, uh, in fiat taxi everything is sold so that's why only one row is there in honda cv there are some cars which are not sold and some cars which are sold and toyota camry also some cars are not sold and some are sold and it has counted the rows for that the count of all this brand so in this case yes nine and uh, the count of cars which are honda cv which is not sold is six the total as to manufacture was 222 the maximum speed of the car was 101 during the testing the count of quality check that was done like six cars were count you know uh, we had done a quality check and um, these are uh, six cars are sold and two cars are not sold and give you the final total of everything at the same time so is this clear what pivot table is doing yes yes sir okay. will you be able to do pivot tables subtotals on your own yes sir Okay, let this be there as it is. So, uh, so what this is like an example in you know how uh, analytical um, databases you know they don't uh, they create uh, you know something similar to pivot tables whenever they analyze. So whenever we analyze, we are doing a sum of something, count of something, max of something. We are, we are trying to find out some information out of the data. Now, the data that we are working on, initially it is in the table format, rows and columns. Then we create a pivot table and we get these red boxes, right? So A, B, C, we got a count of A which is 40, count of B which is 45. Then we, have, we had another table X, Y, Z another sheet another table which we got a count of x is 55 and count of y is 40 now you can take this so this was two dimensional data right the you operated on a two dimensional data you know rows and columns now when you created an output of it you created a third dimension a value and then you had two different data sets one data set at count of a and count of b and the which was coming up from table one the second data set you had a count of x and y which is coming from table 2 now you want to combine these two and create a third uh, you know uh, grouping so like a third uh, so you know one more deeper level pivot table you can say so when you are doing this you are going from third dimensional data to fourth dimensional data and now this data as a as a you know as we know it can be in come in the structured format it can come in the semi structured format it can come in the unstructured format and you can perform your analysis on this data and produce some output and you can take the output of all the outputs and produce another dimension of data then you can keep on going like this uh, as much as you want and that is the power of any analytical software to operate on n dimensional data so do you understand what is happening over here second dimension yes, third dimension fourth dimension yes. so, uh, so koi bhi analytical software hoga wo, uh, wo abhi jo humne kiya hai wo matlab second dimension se third dimension mein maine jo example diya tha lekin socho aapko third dimension ka com combine karke fourth dimension create karna hai to wo bhi aap create kar sakte ho fir ultimately ye number jaake aap kisi score card mein bata sakte ho dash card mein visualization ek number bata sakte ho ki पूरा इंडिया का ये बड़ा नंबर है काउंट ऑफ ए काउंट ऑफ बी काउंट ऑफ मैक्स ऑफ काउंट ऑफ ए काउंट ऑफ बी काउंट ऑफ एक्स एंड काउंट ऑफ वाई तो एक रिपोर्ट तैयार हो सकता है इससे तो तो दैट इज व्हाट आई वांटेड टू वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एन एन डिमेंशनल डेटा है तो वी आर नॉट डूइंग फाइनेंशियल फंक्शन सो आई स्किप दिस so we'll come to data visualization now 
so data visualization usually we are dealing with charts now charts helps you to visualize the data so whatever data we are seeing uh, sometimes it is very difficult to see lot of data and understand right so charts is a quick way of summarizing everything and giving you an answer quickly so that is why charts are utilized so whatever reports we create it is okay we should show them the table of format so that people can dig deeper into what you know data is uh, you know we are looking at at the same time if they want a graphical representation we should show them both so here we are seeing a kind of a clustered column chart where uh, you know uh, you are seeing one target column and one actual column so here you know cover quarter one these are the results quarter two these are the results and they have clustered the columns next to each other so for quarter one what was the target and what was the actual so you notice quarter one the actual is higher than the target so that is a good performance this was uh, quarter two is meeting expectation quarter three is below expectation and quarter four is just okay you know just above expectations but the best quarter that we got the best result was quarter one so this is an example of a cluster column chart where the, the data for this is coming from this table and the chart produced is year over year so whenever uh, we are dealing with charts in spreadsheets these terms will come up data range data series data labels data value and data legends so data range is basically the set of cells that we the entire set of cells including the the column name the data actual data so that is what is the data range and data series is basically the data set so if there are two columns so let us go back over here so in this the data range will be all of this this is your data range you are including the columns also this is whenever so uh, ideally that is an option you can give your own column name but ideally we would just let the uh, choose whatever column name has been given over here and just to indicate that this is not a data whatever is coming below is the data so this is your data range now what is uh, what is a data series here there are actually 1 2 3 4 and 5 columns so there are five uh, you can either say consider one row as one data set or you can consider one column as one data set so uh, whenever you are drawing the chart uh, you need to specify whether the data series is organized by you know by rows or by columns you know so based on uh, uh, whatever uh, you mention the whatever grouping you do ultimately will be applied on that data set for that particular data series so let's say we are going the column wise then definitely we have five data series in the data set so that is what is data series and what is data value data value is basically all this actual value of the data for a particular uh, point you know for a particular so for this particular combination the data value of total as is 10 so that is what is data value data labels is basically when you want to uh, print this value hello 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 yeah sir uh, your voice is breaking Uh, आपको क्या सुनाई दिया अभी तक हेलो हेलो सर जो आप चार्ट का चार्ट का बोल रहे थे ना वही मतलब चार्ट कैसे प्रिपेयर करते हैं हाँ ये डेटा रेंज समझ में आ गया आपको हाँ सर ओके डेटा लेबल्स समझ में आ गया डेटा वो सर पांच पॉइंट हो गए अच्छा ये फिर डेटा लेजेंड बेसिकली डेटा वैल्यू मैंने क्या है बोला डेटा सीरीज क्या है मैंने बोला डेटा लेजेंड इज बेसिकली नेम कि कोई भी चार्ट में कलर देते हैं आप जैसे ये चार्ट में टार्ग ये नीचे जो कलर दिखते हैं आपको टारगेट एंड एक्चुअल का ऑरेंज कलर है और टारगेट का ब्लू कलर है 
तो इसको डेटा लेजेंड तो स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रही है अच्छा आई थिंक स्टॉप हो गया ओके सॉरी हां तो ये जो स्लाइड में जो चार्ट आपको दिख रहा है इसमें जो ऑरेंज कलर बताया है एक्चुअल इसका मतलब ऑरेंज कलर का मतलब एक्चुअल है ब्लू कलर का मतलब टारगेट है इसको डेटा लेजेंड्स बोलते हैं ठीक है इसमें जो डेटा सीरीज यूज हुआ है वो है टारगेट का कॉलम और एक्चुअल कॉलम और वो Y एक्सिस पे प्रिंट हो गया है देखा आपने इधर तो आप तो बेसिकली डेटा सीरीज दो यूज हो गए इसमें टारगेट कॉलम एंड एक्चुअल कॉलम और X एक्सिस पे आपने जब चार्ट क्रिएट किया तभी आपने बोला कि ये जो फर्स्ट कॉलम है ये लेबर ये हेडर कॉलम लेबर ये क्या बोलते हैं लेबल्स है बेसिकली ये डेटा नहीं है ऐसे बोल रही है तो इसको उसने एक्स एक्सिस पे प्रिंट कर दिया क्वार्टर वन क्वार्टर टू क्वार्टर थ्री क्वार्टर फोर अगर आपने बोल दिया कि नहीं ये लेबल्स नहीं है तो आपको एक तीसरा बार भी दिखता था साइड में क्योंकि आपने बोला नहीं ये लेफ्ट हैंड साइड के हेडर हेडर है इसको ग्रुप कर दो इसके अंदर तो उसने एक्स एक्सिस पे इसको प्रिंट कर दिया तो फर्स्ट कॉलम यूजली ऐसा ही होता है कि एक्स एक्सिस पे प्रिंट होता है अगर आप ऐसे उसको बताते हो कि इट इज अ लेबल एंड यू आर टेलिंग द फर्स्ट रो इज ऑल्सो अ लेबल कि हर एक डेटा सीरीज का भी एक नाम है और एक्स एक्सिस का भी अलग अलग नाम है इधर तो डेट यू द रोल द फर्स्ट रो इज ऑल्सो अ लेबल एंड द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज ऑल्सो अ लेबल एंड दू डेटा सीरीज आर सी थ्री टू सी सिक्स एंड डी थ्री टू डी सिक्स एंड That is how this chart is drawn. Is it clear? Any doubts? No sir. Okay. Now, if you right click on this uh, bar and say insert data value, data labels, these numbers will get printed. You know, this uh, quarter one orange bar uh, actually is this is uh, like three thousand plus. That is three three five eight. So it will be printed over here. So that is what it is trying to. But that is what is data labels. Okay, it, we cannot see the data labels because we have not printed it. The data labels are the labels which is print prints the actual data value. So that we want to know now. We, now this is so high. How high is this? What is actual number? So we can actually print it over here. Have you uh, created charts any time uh, before? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Which type of charts have you drawn? सर मतलब कॉलम चार्ट है डोनट चार्ट है अच्छा बार चार्ट है हाँ ओके सब किया है आपने हाँ मतलब तीन तीन चार टाइप तो किए है ओके तो अभी तो इधर आप एक डेटा देख रहे हो ईयर अमाउंट ऑफ पेशेंट्स मीन्स कितने एडमिट हो गए और कितने मर गए ऐसे एक रिपोर्ट है आपको ये बरस में टेन पेशेंट्स आए और पाँच okay. मर गए ऐसे एक आपको डेटा सेट मिला है तो इसका okay. जो राइट हैंड साइड पे अभी क्रिएट हुआ है वो इसको कॉलम चार्ट बोलते हैं और क्योंकि yes. एक के ऊपर एक डाला है तो इसको स्टैक्ट कॉलम बोलते हैं एक के ऊपर एक स्टैक डाला है yes. तो आ, अभी ये जो ऑरेंज वाला है आ, इसका ये मतलब नहीं है ये टेन प्लस फाइव है ये एक्चुअली फाइव है, yes. हाँ, five तो, है. हाँ तो ये आपको yes. वैल्यूज देखेंगे तो पता चलेगा ये टेन है और ये फाइव है तो वेन यू लुक एट अ स्टैक्ट कॉलम इट डजेंट टेल यू It doesn't tell that something is greater than something. It just tells you uh, the uh, magnitude. This is this big and that is this big. You know, थोड़ा बहुत अंदाज़ा मिल जाता है आपको. So that is what you need to be careful about. Yeah. You know, but in some graphs, uh, it will actually be the ma magnitude. Like if you have a bubble chart, then bubble chart, एक bubble आपको छोटा दिखेगा और एक bubble बड़ा दिखेगा. तो वो कहने का मतलब उसका यही है कि 
अगर एक में पाँच और दूसरे में दस है तो एक बबल पाँच का साइज़ है रेडियस है और दूसरा बबल टेन का रेडियस है तो वो बोलना चाहता है कि मेरा डेटा आपसे आता है ऐसे तो उस टाइम बबल भी छोटा दिखेगा और बड़ा बबल बड़ा बबल दिखेगा तो बबल चार्ट में मैग्नीट्यूड थोड़ा क्लियरली विजिबल होता है तो विच चार्ट यू हैव टू यूज फॉर विच टाइप ऑफ डेटा दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द टाइप ऑफ डेटा यू नो दैट यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट सो यू नीड टू सो बिफोर दैट यू नीड टू बी यू शुड बी वेरी कंफर्टेबल विथ ड्रॉइंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ चार्ट सो दिस इज अ स्किल सेट विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन so let's say i uh, yes. want to delete this so i'll select the row then i'll say data no where it is insert charts so now it is saying whether you want a column chart yes if column if you want a stack chart or like this you want so uh, so we'll just look at this the first one the simple one the column chart and then uh, we'll go to next step we'll select the data range as i told you the data range is the entire data set including including the uh, uh, your um, uh, including your column names so i'm saying the data series in columns data series in rows i already told you what this means right data series in rows means it will take one one row as a data set data series in columns means it will use each column as a something to display in the graph so here we are saying data series every column is a data series first row is a column and we'll say first column uh, let's say first column is also a label so we don't want we so ideally this would be printed on uh, x axis and uh, the sec second and the third column will be printed on y axis so let's see how this goes next so data series amount of patients it is odd. since you told already that in data range first column is a label there were only two data series created uh, let me see if i remove this what happens so now if you see that three three data series created over here so that is the difference you will see if you remove this if you check box this will see only two columns you know two column bar per group if you want to remove this you will see three columns per group so now i says next so as this is getting created you can see how this is forming over here so there is very, very less space and then if you want to give any title say my title then you want to give my sub title and you want to give some name on the x axis year on the y axis you want to give uh, mortality rate mortality rate means rate at which people die so now this graph is drawn which is a column chart and it is easier to interpret and you are seeing a kind of a linear growth every year because that's how i just uh, 2021 2023 i have not given random numbers but it i have given a sequence of numbers that's why you seeing a very uh, smooth succession so number of patients are also increasing every year and number of deaths accordingly it is increasing so close to close is a same percentage of deaths you can say so is this clear how column chart is drawn yes sir so bar chart also the everything is same but only difference is whatever was happening on y axis will happen on x axis over here so in this case earlier on the x axis you had all the years printed you see and here you have all the years printed on the y axis and whatever data was uh, data series was printed there are two data series printed one in orange color and one in blue color those are printed on the x axis so that is the difference between column chart and bar chart any question on this no sir now uh,
now the same columns if i had considered same uh, same data series same data range then your pie chart would have looked like this now does this pie chart is this pie chart look good to you means because it is like you know you have not it seems like this is not the correct data series you have selected or uh, you not uh, you know the data you, this is not if for this particular data series you shouldn't have chosen column chart and bar chart would have been okay but pie chart is not okay i are you understanding say every year they have printed yes, different yes, different yes, it is it is not suiting so this is a kind of decision you should make intelligently maybe what you should have done is you should have taken this data and created a pivot table or something or you know a data out of uh, you know the summary of the data then cal or maybe calculated a percentage of the data so here what i have done i have created a pivot table the mortality rate i am saying so if you notice now i have added one more column in the spreadsheet over here which is mortality rate using the function uh, i calculated a percentage mortality rate means 5 divided by 10 into 100 what is the rate at people are dying so in this case the mortality rate is 50% means 50% people are dying in this case the mortality rate is 9 so i mean 9% people so out of 11 only one died means 9 uh, the mortality rate is 9 and here i have used a if formula if d2 is greater than 50 print high if d2 is greater than 10 print medium otherwise print low so here now i have got a grouping no, not grouping can say a uh, kind of a higher level uh, indication of the data i am not going in the detail right at the pie level i just want to know how many people are in the high how many people are in the low and how many people are in the medium now if i go back i can You create a pie chart, uh, create a pivot table, right? Out of this, and which will come up this, and then using this pivot table, I can create a pie chart using the same technique, same same. So I'll give the data range as, uh, let's say this is A1, A1, B1. So A1, A2, A3, A4, and uh, it will go up till B4. So A1 to B4 will be your data range. Yeah, this will be uh, data series by columns, and the first column will be your label names and the top column also will be a label name so then this way you will get the pie chart is this clear what is done in this case yes sir okay to ye pie chart mein data range kya hai data series kya hai data labels kya hai data view kya data uh, values kya hai aur data legend kya hai ye mujhe patch definition ye chart mein batao mujhe और पीवेट टेबल का पीवेट टेबल क्या है ये भी बताओ सर पीवेट टेबल मतलब हम लोग उसमें जो वैल्यूज है मतलब कैटेगराइज वाइज जो वैल्यू हम लोग वहां पे देख सकते हैं जैसे कि यहाँ पे जो डेट रेट हाँ ग्रुपिंग कर सकते हैं ये मतलब पूरा डेटा की जरूरत नहीं है वो डेटा के ऊपर ग्रुपिंग करके हम लोग वैल्यूज फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं अभी बाकी सब डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज डेटा रेंज डेटा रेंज सर डेटा रेंज मतलब पूरा डेटा ना लेबल्स को मिला के हाँ मतलब जो हाई लो मीडियम का जो वैल्यूज है उसका रेंज मतलब ये जो फर्स्ट हेडर है ना मोर्टेलिटी डेट बोला इधर काउंट ऑफ मोर्टेलिटी ये भी ये डेटा नहीं है ले ये लेबल है मतलब ये हाँ ये लेबल है हाँ ये लेबल ये भी ले, ये रो लेबल है ये कॉलम लेबल है इधर है ना कॉलम लेबल हाई लो तो ये जब लेबल्स और डेटा किधर है एक्चुअल डेटा इधर है डेटा वैल्यूज इधर है ना टू टेन एंड ट्वेंटी वन इसका एक्चुअल डेटा वैल्यूज है तो आप जब डेटा वैल्यूज और डेटा लेबल्स को मिला के मिलाते हो तो वो पूरा एक डेटा रेंज बनता है मतलब आपको स्टार्टिंग में ही बताना पड़ता है ना आप चार्ट बनाते हो तो आपका डेटा का रेंज क्या है रोज की दर से स्टार्ट हो रहे हैं फर्स्ट वाला रो है कि फर्स्ट कॉलम कॉलम का वो भी लेबल है या डेटा है ये आपको बताना पड़ता है और फिर एक्चुअल डेटा किधर से स्टार्ट होता है ये भी बताना पड़ता है आपको तो अभी मुझे फिर डेटा रेंज क्या है आ, मुझे आप बताओ Mm -hmm. 
हेलो हाँ सर डेटा रेंज सर जो आप लोग ने वैल्यूज दिया है उसका रेंज है ना मतलब जो वैल्यूज है उसके हिसाब से जितना वैल्यू बढ़ा रहेगा उतना डेटा रेंज ज्यादा रहेगा वैल्यूज प्लस लेबल्स बहुत लेबल्स क्या है इसमें बोलो लेबल्स सर जो रो हेडर है मीन्स मोटेलिटी रेट और काउंट मोटेलिटी रेट हाँ वो रो हेडर हो गया फिर और क्या क्या लेबल्स है इधर फर्स्ट कॉलम भी लेबल फर्स्ट कॉलम हाई लो हाँ वो डेटा वैल्यू नहीं है वो डेटा लेबल है Yes. इसमें डेटा वैल्यूज क्या yes. है uh, जो टू टेन ट्वेंटी वन बराबर है ये डेटा वैल्यूज है और डेटा yes. लेजेंड क्या है डेटा लेजेंड ये जो राइट हैंड साइड पे तीन कलर्स दिखते हैं इसको डेटा लेजेंड बोलते हैं यस 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 लेजेंड ऑरेंज कलर और डेटा इधर yes. तीन डेटा लेजेंड yes. Yes, तो अभी आपको कुछ कंफ्यूजन तो नहीं है ना डेटा रेंज नहीं सर नहीं okay. तो क्योंकि एक घंटे का क्लास है और आज इसी पे स्टॉप करते हैं हम लोग ठीक है ठीक है सर हाँ तो अब ये बहुत सिंपल था आज का क्लास की क्या था थोड़ा मुझे बता दो मैं रिकॉर्डिंग नहीं सर इजी हाँ ठीक है